Do you think that uh, what has happened over the past couple of years has refocused conservatives and the people who want Republicans to act a, a certain way? Uh, yeah, I think we've seen some um, a couple of carom shots here, if we can adapt the language of pocket billiards. Uh, pool to uh, political conflicts. I think that the rejection of the Republicans in the 2006 and 2008 cycle was a rejection more on grounds of competence than on grounds of ideology. Many Democrats disagreed with that at the time um, and proceeded to support these big government programs. Those in turn have been rejected by a majority of American voters, but what's really interesting is that we have seen an inrush into political activity of hundreds of thousands, even millions of our fellow citizens um, in a widely decentralized, spontaneous manner. It's, a, it's a, a, an inrush that's symbolized by but not limited to the Tea Party movement. We've seen these people um, invoking the language, the arguments of the Founding Fathers, uh, even the garb of the Founding Fathers on occasion, and uh, recalling America's uh, historic past and our founding documents, the Declaration of Independence and the uh, Constitution. It's, um, uh, you know, it's, it's interesting speaking to the John Locke Foundation, who of course talked about the right to life, liberty, and property, and whose language in that regard was um, adapted by Thomas Jefferson and the other drafters of the Declaration of Independence when they talked of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, uh, and by the framers of the Constitution when in the Bill of Rights they wrote in the Fifth Amendment that we have a right to uh, not to be deprived of life, liberty, and property without due process of law. So um, Americans have gone back to the founding documents. We've had new people involved in politics. Uh, on balance, while this Tea Party movement and other such movements are, say they're bipartisan, most of their energy and focus has gone into the Republican Party. They've given the Republicans a lot more energy, enthusiasm, and ideas. Those are assets to the Republican Party.